As the number of people with the coronavirus continues to climb in Wisconsin, we thought it was time to pay Dr. Zorba Pastor a visit. Because of social distancing, he is working from home today. Hi, Zorba. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. So this risk or the rise rather in numbers, it's certainly no surprise, is it? No surprise at all. We knew basically that once there was enough coronavirus in our area that you would eventually have community spread. So it wouldn't just be spread from outside the area, but it would be spread from person to person in the area. And all you have to do is look at the Madison streets to see, and the Dane County streets and all over the News 3 area, that people are social distancing. They're not going to work as much. They're staying at home. And basically, the fewer people that you see, the better off it is, the more we will flatten the curve and make sure we don't have a total surge that could overwhelm the hospitals that we have in our area. And that's the biggest concern right now is just having respirators and other equipment if there is a huge outbreak. Exactly. And I had one of my patients call me exactly yesterday and said, what do I do if the university is, university hospital was filled? And I said, well, everyone is cooperating. There's St. Mary's Hospital, St. Mary's in Janesville, Baraboo, Divine Savior, a whole bunch of other hospitals, Stoughton. They're all actually getting together to make sure that we can care for the patients that we need. And believe me, if one hospital is filled, the other hospital will take care of those needs. So Zorba, I know at this point everybody is there, they can't find hand sanitizer, um, you know, even the stuff to make it, but you actually have a recipe that might actually work. I do have a recipe, Everclear, which is 95% grain alcohol, which you can get at many liquor stores, not all of them, many liquor stores. It's actually something that was often used in college to sort of make punch a little bit more punchy, but I would use it <laughs> for hand sanitizer. You take two, you take two thirds of a cup of Everclear and one cup, one third cup rather, of glycerol. And you can buy glycerol in some stores, some actually uh, pharmacies, or you can get it online. So it's one third glycerol, two thirds Everclear, and you will make a hand sanitizer. I actually made some, felt pretty good, a little bit more drying than Purell and the ones that you can buy, but it does the trick and it's the right potency to make sure you're actually going to destroy the COVID-19 virus. <laughs> Zorba, I have a question for you. There have been people who have been talking that, you know, they don't normally wash their hands this much or use the hand sanitizer, and they wonder, are we going to not, are we going to break down our own immunity of this stuff helping us? Does that make sense? Not at all. We don't, washing your hands is actually the best way to keep from spreading germs. It's been a big issue for many, many years. And it was very interesting. I was coming back, actually, on an airplane. I was in the airport. And I, I often sort of observe how many men wash their hands after they're using the washroom. And it's not 100%, anywhere near 100%. But this observation I noticed, not only did almost everyone wash their hands, but they washed them for a good 20 to 30 seconds. And you really got to wash them that long. As far as the hand sanitizer, if you put a squirt of the typical hand sanitizer on your hand, you rub it until it's completely dry, which often is somewhere between 10, around 10 to 20 seconds. That's usually enough to kill this bug. There's a lot of questions surrounding this, and we're going to open up the phone lines and let our viewers ask you questions. 270-9933 is the number to call. If you have a question for Dr. Zorba about coronavirus, or actually anything, mm -hmm. give us a call. 270-9933. We'll get your calls right after this.